After a long time, the master regained partial consciousness of the world and sat down on the mat. Narendra finished his singing and the Tanpura was put back in its place. The master was still in a spiritual mood and said, Mother, tell me what this is. They want someone to extract the butter for them and hold it to their mouths. They won't throw the spiced bait into the lake. They won't even hold the fishing rod. Someone must catch the fish and put it into their hands. How troublesome! Mother, I won't listen to any more argument. The rogues force it on me. What a bother! I shall shake it off. God is beyond the Vedas and their injunctions. Can one realize Him by studying the scriptures, the Vedas and the Vedanta? To Narendra, do you understand this? The Vedas give only a hint. Narendra wanted the Tanpura again. The master said, I want to sing. He was still in an ecstatic mood and sang. Mother, this is the grief that sorely grieves my heart, that even with thee for mother, and though I am wide awake, there should be robbery in my house. The master said, Mother, why do you make me argue? He sang again. Once for all this time, I have thoroughly understood from one who knows it well, I have learnt the secret of bhava. The master said, I am quite conscious. But he was still groggy with divine fervour. He sang once more. I drink no ordinary wine, but wine of everlasting bliss. As I repeat my mother Kali's name, it so intoxicates my mind that people take me to be drunk. Sri Ramakrishna had said, Mother, I won't listen to any more argument. Narendra sang, O oh Mother, Make me mad with thy love. What need have I of knowledge or reason? Sri Ramakrishna said with a smile, O oh mother, make me mad. God cannot be realized through knowledge and reasoning through the arguments in the scriptures. He had been pleased with the singing of the musician from Kunnagar and said to him humbly, Please sing about the Divine Mother. Please, one song. Musician, You must excuse me, sir. Master, bowing with folded hands. No, sir, I can enforce this demand. Saying this, 
Sri Ramakrishna sang a few lines from a kirtan assuming the attitude of a gopi Radha has every right to say it she has kept awake for Krishna she has stayed awake all night and she has every right to be piqued then he said to the musician My dear sir you are a child of the divine mother she dwells in all beings therefore i have every right to enforce my demand a farmer said to his guru i shall get my mantra from you by beating you if i have to musician smiling by a shoe beating master smiling no i won't go that far again in an abstracted mood sri ramakrishna said the beginner the struggling the perfect and the supremely perfect which are you perfect or supremely perfect come along sing for us the musician complied he sang just a melody master my dear sir that too makes me happy The musician then sang a song. When the music was over, the devotees from Konnagar saluted the master and took their leave. The sadhaka bowed before him with folded hands and said, "Holy man, let me say goodbye." Sri Ramakrishna still in an ecstatic mood was talking to the divine mother master mother is it you or i do i do anything no no it is you was it you who heard the arguments all this time or was it i no not i it was you